Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of Surviving Mars with me, Biffa. And here we are with our new dome that we set up last time. We have our celebrity colonist asleep in his bed here somewhere. Not quite sure where he is. Here we go. We one of these along here. And things are going well at the moment. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that we've got all the stuff that we need to keep these colonists Anomaly alive. Analyzed. Ooh, new text available for There's research. more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. So we can now research hydroscopic evaporators and subsurface heating. Do you know what would be good is when you open this screen, because there's so many things on here, if the new ones just had a little red thing around the outside, just for the first time you looked at it, just to sort of, you know, draw your eye to it. Uh, subsurface heater increase the local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves. And whatever the other one was. <laughs> but I can't remember what it was. Adapted Pro. It's going to be one of these at the end, isn't it? Hydroscopic evaporators. There we go. Moisture evaporator upgrade. Water production increased by 50%. And that could be pretty good. At the minute, we're doing systematic training. So our scientists and botanists have plus 10 performance. Now that we've got them on our planet, that's what we want to do. And then increase cargo space by 10,000 kilograms. That will be the next one. So let's close that off. So let's have a look. How is everything going in our dome? So power 23 which is fine oxygen 0.9 water so we, we've got a surplus of everything uh food hopefully will be okay we've got all the different grasses and things growing uh which is good so that will start giving us some food which i'm assuming can then be i've oh, got the space bar um when we've got yeah so they're bringing the metals they're bringing the concrete over so that will help keep people happy if we whoops let's come out of that is the happiness listed on here it isn't. Oh, change skin. Huh? Oh, I see. We've got the see-through clear dome. And then if we go back to this, we've got the uh, dome. Oh, I quite like this one because this will get covered in dust as we go along. What else can we do? Rename basic dome. Oh, vector one. What shall we call our dome? Oh, where are they leaving to? Look. Where are they going? I just saw... Oh, they're coming to work over here, aren't they? Look, 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 look. We got distracted there. They're coming in to make our polymers for us. Excellent. What what should we call our domes? I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it up to you guys and girls. Give me some suggestions as to what we're going to call our domes. I'd be very interested to hear what you think. Is this guy full up? He's got seven. Is there anywhere... Yeah, we can get him over here. Collect some of those. What are these? Metal deposits. Yep, please go and go and collect those. Excellent. So let's have a look at our overall resources. You just right click anywhere on the blank part of the screen and see what we've got. So polymers, we're doing okay and we're getting more. Machine parts is what we're going to be struggling with. So uh, we've got a power surplus. Okay, so let's have a look at our rockets. Has the rocket got back home again? Yes, it has. So what else do we need? We need, I reckon, electronics, machine parts. How far is that to go for fuel? Yeah, not too far. Food, just so there isn't like a big worry. And then whether there's anything else that we think we can pick up as a prefab. So let's have a look. Cargo rocket, we'll come back to the prefabs. And um, food, yeah, we'll bring some food with us. Machine parts, electronics, we're going to bring a load of those, yeah, uh, prefab buildings, is there anything that would be pretty good? Fuel refinery, sterling generator, machine parts factory, electronics factory, polymer factory, see extra factories I don't think at the moment would be a good idea, because we don't have the people to staff them, we've already got a polymer factory. Do we have an electrics factory as an option? Unfortunately, if I go back, I'll have to redo all of that, which is a bit annoying, but there we go. Let's have a look. So let's start down here. What do we have? What do we have? So we've got a machine parts factory, electronic factory. I think we'll bring one of those just so we've got it. And then we could always get people to work in there, maybe instead of the farm or something like that. Uh, moisture evaporator. 
that could be good as well. We've got... That's the fuel. Yeah, maybe let's do that then. Let's do that. So let's get the cargo rockets. So the moisture evaporators produce water from the atmosphere. Production lowers, lowered when near other evaporators. No production during dust storms, possibly. Uh, let's get the electronics factory. Machine we've got. Polymer we've got. I don't feel like we need this. So let's leave that. <laughs> let's not bring it. Let's bring 25 of those, 25 of those, orbital probe, we do want to write on the probe and we've got lots of things we're going to cover. Oh, food was the other one. 30 foods and then 20 of those. Yep. Tea saucer one, it's going to bring that back. Funding is going down, but let's launch, let's get that coming towards us so we're not hopefully waiting around too long for anything. Um, so, we need to get these guys to store some of this stuff a bit nearer. So, let's add in rare metals depot. We want that right next to here. Uh, where does it actually come out? It comes out there. So, we put that right there. It's here. Look. Stores 100. Have we got another rare metals depot over here? I think we have, haven't we? I was just thinking it would save them going backwards and forwards too much. Which one is it? What's the picture on it? Let's have a look. It's got the dollar sign on it. Uh, none of these have the dollar sign on it, so we don't. Are they loading it into here? They might be doing that. Oh, we've got food that needs to be unloaded. Do we have somewhere to store the food? Uh, we do. Yep, so they're bringing the food off of here. Oh, they are. Look, is he putting rare metals in there? Polymer's machine parts. He was taking fuel in. Um... There is a way of turning allow or forbid export. So, okay, that would be allow. So we have got some that could go back with it. So I'm wondering how that's going to work. Oh, oh, I never saw you could change that before. Oh, nice. Oh, excellent. Oh, we'll leave that nice and big so they can join in. So we'll see what happens anyway, whether, he, uh, whether he'll be able to do that. You're almost filled up. Oh, no, 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 Go there. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to see if some of these things are going to be exported. That's all. Right, we've got to night time. And if we have a look at our power, we're at minus 33.2 power at night. Uh, I bet if we open that, let's just see. That's going to give us another, that's another 10. So 23.2. There we go. Fuel's going in. Um... There's nothing listed on... Oh, rare metals. Zero. There it is. Rare metals. Isn't listed on here. Oh, gathering exports. There we go. Two rare metals. So it does have it listed on there. Well, that's good because you can take those back. Definitely. But we've got to keep an eye on the power. So stored power, 29... Oh, we've lasted the night with what we've got. These haven't been short on power. That is good, actually. I was worried there for a moment that we were going to be short on power. There we go. They're all lining up again, and they're going to start filling up. And we're making enough polymers now. We're getting... It says 1.5 a day. It was 1.7 a day before. Can I change how many people work in here? Oh, what's that say there? Working on a heavy workload will increase the building performance, but inflict sanity and health penalties on its workers. Ah... So it's normal workload. You can click it and get heavy workload. If you come off that and go back on it again. Oh, okay. And it increases from 1.5 to 2.1. Well, I don't think we'll do that. We'll leave the guys happy. There we go. We've got the bar in here. So we've got two shifts in the bar. I'm going to do that shift. But not a morning shift. So we'll have this one. Yeah, 10 to 6. Yeah, we'll do that. Workshop workers plus 53. Okay. That should be good. Warning, inactive work shift. Yep, I know about that. There doesn't seem to be a way. Oh, there we go. Right click on there. Look. And you can close the work slots. Well, yeah, let's close those. Um, how are our farm going? We need one more person on the farm. Hospital. I'm going to close that one. So right click to remove somebody. And then, oh, look, our parks are in. Nice little relaxation area behind the medical facility. Um, this, I really want that one full. Um, and I'm thinking, if we close those down... 
do one and a half a day. I think we'll be okay in that. What I'm worried about is the the machine parts. I'm going to leave that like it is. But if we can start making those ourselves. So how are these doing? Yeah, I want to get these starting to be filled up. If we can start making those machine parts ourselves, that would be much better. Rather than relying on bringing them backwards and forwards from uh, Earth all the time. So... Let us have a look. That can go in here. Uh, what? Oh, we've got the prefab, so we can just shove that in, can't we? Let's put that in. Although, actually, no, I'm saying that. We do not have enough people in here to work that. Oh, we have. Okay, let's just do one thing at a time. One thing you want to be careful of. Let's salvage that. Let's get our rocket to land first. Line it up. There we go. Excellent. Rocket landing sights. Bring it a little bit closer. There we go. Excellent. How are you doing? Still waiting for the fuel. We've got four exports. Not quite sure how much money that's going to make us, but I guess we'll find out. Let's get the game moving along. There we go. Yes, there's only a certain amount of people in here. Uh, unless I put in another place for people to live. So actually, we probably could do that. Is send Sector this one back. Scanned. Building's not working. Ooh, why not? Does it need fixing? Storage space is full. Okay, that's fine. We have enough concrete. That stops working. I'm happy with that. It's not going to keep making more and more and more. So do you know what I'm going to do is... I'm going to turn that one off. And for now, we're going to turn that one off. Just so it doesn't require the power. It doesn't require the servicing. And that means you could probably shut that... Yeah, and we'll be okay. So, yes. Um, we're going to need to build more spaces for people to live before we put in another place for people to work. And I think that will probably work quite well in here. So let's do that then. Let's put this thing back in again. After we put down... Where is our place for people to live? Apartments. Research low G high rise. I wanted to build that, didn't I? I wanted to build that. Low G high rise. I'm going to take this one off and we're going to put that one on and we're going to outsource some research. We haven't done this before. So we can spend uh, 200 million and over the next five days we will get a um, thousand research. So we'll finish that and do probably half of that. A little bit more than half of that. For 2,000 million in the next five souls, we get 10,000 research. So that could plow us through a ton of research. Um, that would take a lot of our money. I'm thinking 1,000. There we go. Let's move along this way, please. There we go. And we're going to fly through some of these. I want that one next. Then... New building farm, I think, next after that. What else have we got? Martian-born ingenuity. Growing up a unique environment combined. Martian-born. So we could end up getting some Martian-born kids soon. So we'll go for that one as well. Uh, we've already outsourced that. Have we not? Mm, doesn't seem to be showing up that it's doing that. We've got seven souls left to make sure we keep people alive in, which is good, because we need to do that. To show, to prove that we know what we're doing and we can keep people alive. Is it, have we just not got enough? 200 million. To, yeah, we should be able to do that. Why is that not one? It's not taking the 200 million. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused as to why the outsource isn't working. We've definitely got 200 million. Oh well. I've pressed it. <laughs> I've tried. We'll see what happens. Let's speed things up a bit. Yeah, so if we can get apartments in here, get a load of people in, we can fill up all the jobs that we've got. This, I really want to be filled up and working all the shifts to send stuff back to get loads of money. And once we start going with that, I think that's going to really kick us into kick 
kick us into high gear. That is the plan. Okay, how are you looking here? Um, let's forbid exports on that one. I just want everything to go into there. But we want this to be emptied. So are you going to come and do that for us? Let's put a priority on emptying that. Get all the food, the polymers. We should have plenty of space, haven't we? Machine parts, electronics and polymers. Yeah, there we go. And they Research hold... Research complete. Oh, systematic training is complete. Excellent. More applicants start to appear on Earth. Yeah, we'll get for that one. Good. So our botanist should be doing much better with the food and such now. So I didn't actually see... Remember how much we were getting before. This is 9.5. What do these guys say here? Procrastination at work. Minus 20. He's lazy. He gets plus 10. Morale's low. That's something we need to be careful of. Is the morale of our people. Right, it looks like we've got a ship that's ready to leave. And he has got six exports in there as well. He's got nothing else. Nope, let's go. Let's send him home. Launch. Activate. I clicked it. I'm guessing he's going to go when he's ready. Yep, it's not flashing anymore. Oh, let's speed things up a bit. There we go. So he's going to take those with him. I would be interested to see... There he goes. What that is going to bring us. That will be uh, very interesting to see how much money that is going to make us. So how is our research going down here? We're working on low G engineering. Which is good. Because I want those high-rise apartments. How many colonists do they hold? <clears throat> many, it says. Mm, well, that's okay. We'll see how we do with that. And then the farm as well. And then, yes, the Martian born. That's fine. Well, we'll go with that and we'll see what happens. So, how are 12 colonists doing? Is there a way to sort of get an over overall view of all the colonists? That's what I'm looking for. Yes, there is right here. This is what I was looking for before. So... We can see, uh, let's get it on medium speed, uh, the health is good, uh, the average sanity is good, so they're staying sane, their comfort, mm, not doing so great, maybe we need to have a look at that, and the morale is dropping as well, so let's have a look, one colonist couldn't satisfy their interest, ah oh, okay, so let's just pause here a sec, so when we were... Uh, picking our colonists they had different things that they were interested in so this one wants luxury and another one wants shopping and that might actually help with the morale as well so let's see what we can build that would cover luxury and shopping which maybe we could squeeze in the back around here so there is actually a shop isn't there art shop or oh, art workshop beg your pardon uh, electronic store. Buy the latest and greatest gadgets Mars has to offer. Consumes electronics on each visit. Well, we're not making any electronics, so I don't want to put that down. Uh, art workshop. So that covers luxury and shopping. Well, that would be good. That covers shopping and gaming. Uh, consumption, a polymer. Now, we do have some polymers. We are making polymers. That could be the thing to go for. Casino, luxury, gaming, gambling, social, open air, gym. Okay, we don't want to do that one yet. Uh, and these just cover relaxation, exercise and playing. So maybe let's go for... Um, that consumes power. I would like to speed up my research. But we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's put in an art workshop. I'm hoping... Yes, it does fit in this back section here. So we'll go for that there. There we go. And we'll get that sped up. There we go, to get that done. It's going to cost us a couple of polymers. And hopefully that will deal with these needs here. And it will help with morale. Or someone else, social, luxury. Yeah, four of them want shopping. Yeah, we've got to be careful here. And social. Well, hopefully this will cover the social side of things. It might just be because we don't have enough people... The, yeah, we'll spread them Sector out a bit. Scanned. Oh, nice. Look, 32 metal, 509 whatever that is. There it is up there. Excellent. Well, I know what it is. It's metal. I'm not quite sure what the 509 relates to. How much money that's going to give us. Is our rocket home yet? Not yet. Let's keep an eye on our money. 
at 2,920 million. And when that gets home, if that goes up, that could be quite good. Okay, is there any more sectors? We're scanning that one there. One, two, three... Whoa, look at that. Meteorite. Did you see that flying through there? I'm sort of picking ones I think we can get to, and I've got a bigger area. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's do that one there. Okay, good. Uh, how are you doing? 100%. Received. There we go. Funding received 180 million. Just from those... What do we have? Four... Four stuffs that we put in. That is fantastic. So can we outsource now? Outsource for 200 million. Did that take it? I missed it. Hopefully it did. We'll sort of speed things up a bit. And so outsourcing a thousand. There we go. Was that there before? Did I miss it? Am I being a complete numbskull? Well, never mind. Oh, here we go. It's been built. Milestone achieved. Okay. Well, research complete. Low G high rise. Perfect. Produce food. We produced our first food on Mars. Let's have a quick look at this. We'll come back to that. Stored food, 9 point... Oh, it stores food as well. Perfect. 9.7 out of 100. Excellent. That is great. Uh, and they can just come and eat that off of there, I believe. So you're bringing a polymer over. Uh, we need some people to work here. Stored polymers, five. I'm hoping they can just eat the food as it is without having to go anywhere I think so because there is like a bar I mean you can drink here let's keep that up and hopefully when this is filled up store polymers three out of five we'll get some more in here in a sec four out of five another one will come along and fill that to the brim here he comes thank you kindly and then whether we're going to get somebody working there. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop that shift. And hopefully they'll come over here. So we are running out of people that can work in different things. We need some more people. Actually, now that that's back. Yeah, we can do that. Let's just pause a sec. Let's set up what we're doing in here. Okay, let's have a look at the apartments. Compared to the living quarters. Cost 10 concrete. They cost 35 and 10 polymers. Well, we can afford that. Consume 1 consumes 12 power. Well, we've got a surplus of 12 power at the moment, so we're going to need to make some more of that. Um, and maintenance a lot higher. That holds 14, that holds 24. So if we get 24 people in here, how is that going to stress our power consumption and everything else? That's the thing that I'm worried about. So do you know what? I'm not going to go, even though I've just researched that, I'm not going to go for the larger one. We're going to go for some living quarters. Because what I think I was going to mention before and possibly didn't was that the colonists won't leave a dome to go to another dome. They'll go as far as, there we go, what is around the dome. That is what they will do um, and do jobs that are nearby. But other than that, they won't travel to another dome. So we need enough people to cover the shift. So, I mean, another... What have we got here? Let's have a look. So, there's colonists 12. There's vacant work slots 3. Well, I think it's more than that, because it's like however many in each of these. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16. You know, we could fill up a lot more jobs. Do you know what? Blow it. Let's go for the high-rise. Let's go for the high-rise. Fill it up. Yeah, and see what we can do. I don't know whether I'm going to be pushing things too much here. It just worries me that I'm not going to have to keep up all the needs. But we're going to have plenty of jobs for people to do. My gut's telling me don't. But my YouTube, come on, let's do the exciting thing, is telling me do. So, what am I going to do? We're going to do. We're going to put the apartments in. Uh, let's actually put them over here. And is there different sorts of apartments we can get? Yeah, we can cycle between that sort, that sort. Yeah, there's two different ones. Let's go with that one. There we go. So we're going to get some apartments in. Excellent. So that is basically 24 people. And we can fit two more in there. 26 people we can bring. So let's have a look at our rockets. Oh, what do we need? How's this one doing here? It's got no exports to go back, really. 
Oh, we turn exports off, didn't we? There we go. Let's put that on. How many are on here? One. Yeah, I'd love to fill up all the shifts on these things. That would just be great, wouldn't it? So how many people can we fit on a rocket? Passenger rockets. Why can't I... Oh, we can't have any more, can we, until the ten stages is up. We've got five souls to go. Oh, I forgot all about that. Let's put that on low for the moment. How's this going? Yeah, there's a couple of people working in here. I'm going to take you off of there. And hopefully, you're, yeah, you've gone back into there again. Was long, oh, what did I just move? I moved something. Do you know what? We've got enough polymers. I'm going to take you out there, and I'm hoping you're going to come and fill this one up. Yeah. Oh, well, as soon as we get past five souls, let's speed things up. We'll be able to get more people in. Uh, we're full up on space with these. So, actually, how much is that holding? 70, 40, 39. No, they're okay. So we just need to look around and see what everybody's doing. So you are over here. Any other anomalies? I'm going to move you up here because there could be at some point. So you go that way. You've gathered a load of metal and stuff for us. So what have you got? Metals and nothing else. Yeah, so if we unload the metals to... Uh, yeah, that one there. You can be able to do that. You are... Oh, darn it. Go left click there. The left click and the right click is a little bit odd. But there we go. So that's going to fill up. Research complete. Oh, soil adaptation. Excellent. So that will be... <laughs> this one here. So we'll get a new building, which is a farm. What are we working on now? Martian-born ingenuity. Excellent. So if we do get any kids... Let's send you back over here again. Yeah, I want to collect as much of that as possible. If we do get any kids on Mars, then... They're going to be so super brainy that that'll be great. I want this. I think we're going to take 1.2. Yeah, I don't want to take any more people out of there. That's like the minimum there. I want to keep the food going. How much food do we have? Uh, 46 food. I know a lot of that we brought Vehicle with us. Vehicle battery low. Okay, who's that? Okay, can you tell me? It's this guy here. Okay, what's his battery? Oh, it's okay. We'll bring you back over here. Let's charge you up. And then we'll send you back over again. Yeah, the food production. I'm not quite sure how much food we're... So we're basically... Or is it going through rotation? That one, then that one, then that one? It looks like it, doesn't it? We're only performance 108. That's taking water and power. Okay. So we'll, we'll get eight food after four souls. Time into the next harvest, three souls. And two and ten. But they don't seem to be all working at the same time. So it's one and then the other, isn't it? Which is interesting. I'm guessing, yeah, you can come back over here. Grab those for us. But food 2.4. So let's look at the consumption a bit more. So power production, max production, power consumption. So we're storing Sector scanned. lots of power, which is good. Oh, found some water and stuff in there. Oxygen production 2, consumption 0.9. So we're making a bit more than we're using. That's fine. Water production 2.3, mass production 10. So we've got plenty of stored water. So if anything happens with that, then we should be okay. What I'm trying to find is... So is this like a... Yeah, it doesn't tell you, does it? 2.4, as in how often. I want to know how often we need more food. And I might be missing something somewhere. That must be per soul. 2.4 per soul. Hmm, I don't know. Some of you eagle-eyed people out there may have spotted. Um, Building a new home on an alien ooh. world? That takes guts, to say the least. Joel Jenkins has the enthusiast trait. Excellent. He showed himself above average. Well done, Joel Jenkins. Yeah, there's probably something I'm missing somewhere. I'm sure you've, you've possibly spotted it. So if you have, uh, let me know what I'm missing there. <laughs> How's this guy doing? Are you still collecting your full-up? 
Okay, let's empty you out uh, over there. There we go. Anything else we're filling up on? 30 or 30 concrete. Yeah, Polymer is not doing so well. And then we've got all this concrete over here as well. We have a power. Our colonists are suffering from hypothermia. <gasps> Our colonists are suffering for hypothermia. Heaters, blah, blah, blah. Colonists with freezing stasis affect residents and don't have insufficient supply of power. Okay, let's just slow things down a sec. So what do we got going on here? Power shortage. Let's open up that. Is it real? We need to store more power, don't we? We need to put in a sterling generator. We need to... <laughs> we need to do stuff. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, sterling generators need to bring with us. Wind turbines are okay. But as we discussed, they use machine parts. Whereas I'm quite happy building these. Although they cost metals. 0.5 at here. Let's put some of these down. Just so we've got something that lasts all night as well. As opposed to things that are just stopping at random times. You know, well, you know, random as in when it's night time. Let's put in one. So we take that around. Two. Three of those. Uh, we'll get those on high priority. And hopefully the sun will be up any second. <gasps> and these will come back because otherwise our poor people how are you feeling oh there we go they did have hypothermia they'd slowed down hadn't they he's one of our founders oh son joel jenkins is the one that got the enthusiast there we go increased performance boost when at high morale is anybody particularly struggling let's just have a look through i mean everyone's above average on pretty much everything you're struggling on morale Healthy as a ball, one with the universe. Well, that's good. You're struggling on sanity. Work during the dark hours, well rested. Work during the dark hours, freezing. Hmm. That probably didn't help. You know, and I can understand that. But I like that little update that you're giving me. Plus five. No available service building, dining. Oh, yes. We didn't put that in, did we? So they obviously need that. I think they will still eat without it, but they prefer to eat with a diner. Is that small enough that it will fit in there? Yes. Uh, let's have a look at the different... Let's rotate that around. Come back. Is there different buildings for that? No. Let's put that one there, right next to the food. Let's prioritise that. Excellent. What have we got? Three souls left. Building not working. No, you're fine. We just need to make sure we gather enough and store enough power. Capacity 200, stored 18.1. Yeah, we need to get these done. Come on, folks. Yeah, they're bringing the stuff. Get them finished. We've got the concrete. We've got the machine parts. How are you doing? Yeah, you haven't got the, you haven't got the fuel yet. No active research. Okay. Research complete. We've researched. Milestone achieved. Thank you very much. Researched a break. Oh, here we go. What have we got? Researched a breakthrough. So that is actually one of our mile milestones. First merch. <laughs> There's merch and bin. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we've got that one to get into the top eight. Evaluation, I think, is after 10 souls. And then we've got other things to work through here as well. So that is fantastic. Research Martian born ingenuity. Let's just have a quick look. So, subsurface heater. Um, you know, we've just sort of run out of heat, but we're okay from that. Let me have a quick look through and see what we're going to go for. Okay, there's a couple here catching my eye. We've got this one here, low G turbines. We're going to go for that and get extra power from our turbines. Power is something that we've been struggling with. Um, adaptive probes, I think, will have that added on the list as well, so we can scan deeper. Um, increases production by 25%, also increases power production. Mm, yeah. Let's do that third, and by then we'll have this one set up and start working down our physics line. And I think that'll be quite good. 
And we've got 2,900. If we outsourced for 200, should we do that and see if we can get through those? There we go. Took it straight away. Excellent. I think that will help. Definitely. Somewhere to eat. Some more power. I think we're doing okay. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. If you're enjoying Surviving Mars, we will be back at the same time. This is going to be a daily series, 5 p.m. GMT every day. City Skyline at 12, Surviving Mars at 5, and then alternating Astroneer and Oxygen not included at 8. Oh, we can see them working in the farms there. Very nice. So I shall see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.